This diary will contain all the topics that you must know before advancing to the main subjects. So please listen and see carefully. All the best. Today we will discuss the various magnetic terms like B magnetic flux density, H magnetic field intensity and many more and especially BH curve. So let's start with the first law Ampere's law. Now friends let's see what is Ampere's law. In easy words it is the magnetic field that is produced due to the current carrying conductor has to be limited by some thing that is H. H is equal to what? Magnetic field intensity as it is shown on the screen. Now the most important part of this discussion is that converse of Ampere's law is also true. If there is magnetic field intensity around a conductor, there will exist a current flowing through conductor. And the mathematical expression is as shown on the screen. Now this introduces us to the new term MMF. This is the most important term. NI, where N is the number of turns and I is the current flowing through the conductor. LM is the path length. Now let's see in detail about MMF, magnetomotive force. So we know that if we have n conductors each carrying current I, then some magnetic field intensity is produced around each conductor denoted by H as stated by Ampere's law. Now to measure this, the strength of this magnetic field, we need to have some quantity, some unit that is called MMF. Its unit is ampere turns. But the question stays what is MMF? Just remember this line. Now here comes two terms flux and core. Core is something around which a conductor can be wound. A core can be a free space or a magnetic material like iron or something like wood. All are considered as core. Now flux. Flux can be understood as a quantity to measure the number of magnetic field lines. Now recall the statement. So what actually MMF is doing it drives the flux in the core what it will do it will drive the flux in the core remember this hope you got it now let's discuss flux density just remember this flux density is equal to flux divided by cross section area of core orthogonal to flux orthogonal to flux is important and unit of B is Tesla so 1 Tesla is equal to 1 Weber per meter square now let us understand what is magnetic field intensity H for this go back to Ampere's law Integration of H over magnetic path length gives MMF. If H is uniform for a path length LM, then H is equal to Ni by LM. Its unit is ampere per meter. So, what is feel of H? For understanding, from the expression we can see H is equal to Ni by LM. Ni is MMF. So what actually H is doing? H is just a measure of MMF. And what MMF does? It moves flux in the core. So what? We can conclude through all these statements. That H gives birth to B. And what is B? B is flux density. Remember my last line. Every magnetic material displays its own BH curve characteristics. 
let us take an example of iron core over which a conductor is wounded and the conductor is connected to a battery in such a way that the direction of current is as shown in the figure this direction of current is taken as positive as we increase current i the core gets magnetized and at point a it will reach the saturation point that is the core is fully magnetized as we increase or decrease current we increase h which affects on the flux density b this is important now from point a as we decrease the current gradually to zero the characteristics comes to point b and we can see that there is still some magnetic flux on the core as it does not come back to the origin now we reverse the battery and this means the current is now negative with respect to the assumed positive direction of the current so the characteristics comes down from b to c and at c it is again the saturation point that is the core is fully magnetized now again we decrease the current gradually to zero and we can see that the curve gets to the point d it has still some magnetic flux density now we again reverse the polarity of the battery that is now the current is in positive direction so again the curve moves from point d to a and at a it reach saturation the following can be concluded from the discussion the important part is if bd is large for a material then that material can hold magnetism for a long time that material can be any iron core or any magnetic material we never operate in the saturation region that is close to the saturation point remember this point because at that point the magnetic material stops displaying its magnetic properties remember this as we can see from the bh curve that if we operate on the line oa that is especially in the region that is encircled with red sketch pen there is linear relationship between b and h that is b is directly proportional to h b is equal to mu h mu is magnetic permeability now what is magnetic permeability let's see the definition but what is the feel just remember this line now this is important just remember this line 